G'day folks, how's it going? Well, it's Trev here from Trev's Life and check it out. It's been three weeks since my last cooking video here at Camp Kookaburra and things have really changed. Camp Kookaburra cookhouse is basically finished and it's time to give it a bit of a test run. Now I was in there working before and I thought to myself, gee whiz, I wouldn't mind a bit of fried chicken. So today is opening of Camp Kookaburra. It's our 200th video and so what better time to have a bit of a celebration and a feed of fried chicken. <laughs> All right. Alrighty guys, so what I've got is a tray of eight drumsticks and what we're going to do is we're going to soak them in buttermilk for one hour in the fridge um, before we go on to the next stage. So, open your buttermilk, 600ml bottle of buttermilk, chuck it in, 600ml, so that's like two and a half cups. Oh, lovely creamy goodness. Chuck it in here, get yourself one tablespoon of baking powder. Make sure it's all broken up. Chuck it in and then just give it a whisk. Whisk him around. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and lay this chicken in its little milk bar. Here we go. So in she goes. Each one has to be rolled around. Like so. Now this buttermilk's only, I think $2 or $2.20 or something for 600 mils, so it's it's inexpensive. These uh, chicken drumsticks were less than five bucks for eight. So it's a pretty good feed, but not a lot of money. All right, there we are. Now, I'm gonna chuck some plastic wrap over this, chuck it in the fridge, and I'll get back to you in one hour. Rightio, guys, it's been an hour. It's been sitting in the fridge the whole time, all nice and clean and correct all the good stuff and now the next stage is we've got to make up our flour to dip it in so what you do is grab your plain flour self-raising flour whatever it is you want chuck a bit in the tray like so now you can season this any way you want I like shaker fry seasoning it's pretty delicious pretty crazy about it at the moment Chuck a bit of that in. And then these pre-mixed seasonings usually got a fair bit of salt in them. So keep the salt out till later. You might need some more later, but don't chuck it in now. Now, a bit of cracked pepper. And finally, garlic pepper. This is one of Elise's favorites. She puts it on everything. Rightio. So, we just mix that up. Now we get our third tray ready. And we start dipping. So, grab your chicken, pull him out of its little buttermilk bath, chuck it in here, flare on top, press it on. Like so. Woo -wee. The Colonel would be proud. <laughs> Alright. I'll speed this bit up. Righty, -o. that's all eight done. Looks pretty good. I've got my fat on heating up and I've got my thermometer there ready to check it. It's, we've got to get the fat up to 350 Fahrenheit or about 180 Celsius and then we'll be right to start cooking. Alright, I'll get back here then. 
Alrighty guys, now for the fun part. Chicken's prepared. I got my nine and a half quart camp oven and uh, I've got it in my new garbage can wok holder. <laughs> I'll tell you all about the garbage can wok holder later. Anyway, grab yourself a thermometer, chuck it in the oil. Yeah, perfect. 350 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. You are good to go. Now, trick with trick with deep frying is don't overload the pan. I've got eight drumsticks here, so I'm just going to do four at a time. And I'll bring you guys in a bit closer so you can see me cooking it. And don't chuck them in by hand. Use your use your tongs. Alrighty, here we go. First chicken piece. And that's why you don't chuck them in by hand. <laughs> Wee doggy, look at that. Righto guys, I reckon I'll get back to you in about five minutes and we'll turn these over and then we'll check them. Right here guys, we are about six minutes in and I reckon these bad boys are done. So we'll just take these first four out. Oh yeah, they look a bit dark, but ah, uh, she'd be right, they'd be nice and crunchy. <laughs> Woo, doggy. Now I'll chuck these other four in. Oh, it's going to be some good eating. Alright, get back to you in 5 10 minutes when these are done, and uh, we'll have a taste test. Right here, folks. This second bunch of chickens been in for about. Screw those first ones are pretty dark. <laughs> These guys have been in for about oh, seven minutes. And I reckon they're good to go. Look in here. <laughs> yeah, boy. The good thing about cooking outside, all the oil splatter, just hose it off with the hose. All right, I'm going to wait for these to cool down a bit. A little bit of a taste test. Right, hey guys, now time for the fun part. <laughs> Let's try this chicken. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. That is crispy, tasty. Chicken's tender. Mmm. Check it out. <laughs> the first cooking video at Camp Kookaburra. Sorry. <laughs> Since we built the cooking hut. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Um. Well. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, as usual, if you enjoyed it, share it with your mates, hit the subscribe button, hopefully we'll get to a thousand one of these days, and we can get monetized, and uh, 
start putting a bit more money back into buying ingredients and doing more videos and stuff and see you on the next one. Ta-da!